All right, hello, welcome to another Anchor Tech Tip. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to repair a MacBook Pro that is not finding its own boot drive or internal hard disk. What I mean by that is if the computer turns on and it flashes a box with a question mark in the middle and it doesn't go past that. What may have happened is that your hard drive inside the computer may have got overloaded or it just got too old and hot and you can see mine kind of got too hot and you can see some of the uh some of the liquid it exerted here so this piece is now trash so one thing that makes this difficult is that apple uses proprietary hard drives in their systems and my computer is a 2013 uh late 2013 retina and uh, if you can see here, the pin structure is different, which makes it difficult to change uh, your computer's hard drive. You don't want to go ahead and buy another Apple um, OEM one, that, which are expensive. You can actually buy an M.2 drive to replace it, as long as you have this adapter that I will put on screen and a link in the description too. The actual drive that I purchased to replace the Apple hard drive is this one right here. Crucial P2 NVMe M.2 solid state drive, 500 gigabytes. You can buy a terabyte, but 500 gigabytes ran me about 50 bucks. Once I opened up the computer using um, my tools here, taking off all the screws, this is what you get. And this is where the actual drive was. This drive was here held down by a single screw. As you can see there, I unscrewed it and placed in my adapter and the actual M.2 drive into the adapter. In case you're wondering which bits you'll need to open the computer, you will need a star 1.2 for the actual case. And then for the drive to remove that, you will need a T4 bit. Your next step is to load onto an external flash drive, Mac OS High Sierra. Uh, that's the one I'm using specifically. I know this one to work, so um, there's other tutorials online on how to load this up with a bootable Mac OS Sierra. And this is what it looks like when it's booted up. Once it's booted up, you'll go into Disk Utility, and you won't be using uh, your internal computer's command R recovery for this. You will actually just be booting straight into uh, into your Mac OS uh, Sierra. You'll go into Disk Utility, and then, um, let's see. And I've already renamed this, but I'll do this again. The internal drive will be here. Um, it will be titled something else. Uh, you can see it's 500 gigabytes. We'll go over to Erase and leave the format to Mac OS extended and you will rename it at, at, to whatever you'd like and then click, go ahead and click on erase. Once that's done, quit disk utility and then install Mac OS. All right, once you get to this stage, you'll click on your SSD that you're renamed if it's not there, keep in mind to go back a step um, and go into Disk Utility and reformat it to uh, Mac OS journaled. So we will install it here. Oh, we need it connected to a power source. All right. Okay, so that installation took about 15 to 20 minutes. All right, at this point, we've got Hi Sierra downloaded and I'm gonna go ahead and just upgrade to Mac OS Big Sur and we are up and running. All right, and that is how I upgraded the hard drive of this uh, MacBook Pro, not even using an OEM hard drive from Apple. If you have any questions, you can put them in the comments and thank you for watching.